opportunistic and pathogenic bacteria that penetrate past the epithelial barrier entering the bloodstream are efficiently killed by macrophages. It is clear that the immune system is not ignorant of their presence of bacteria because a vigorous IgA response directed against these microbes can be measured and a significant proportion of this IgA is induced through a T-cell independent pathway. This high-speed video shows a macrophage chasing down planktonic bacteria. This is likely a segmented filamentous bacterium as it appears to be attempting to escape capture. Eventually the macrophage is able to phagocytize the bacterium. An optimally functioning immune system is required for such events to occur in the body. In the next video we observe a different scenario. In the second video, you can see a red blood cell infected by mycoplasma with the characteristic bumps. Two macrophages are attracted to the infected cell. As one macrophage is aggressively moving towards the cell, it is joined by another macrophage. The second macrophage is immediately repulsed from the mycoplasma infected red blood cell. The first macrophage makes another attempt from a different direction. Eventually, both macrophages move quickly away from the mycoplasma infected red blood cell. Molecular mimicry of host molecules enables bacteria to display surface molecules resembling those of the host. This contributes to immune hyporesponsiveness to bacteria. Recent analysis has revealed the presence of secretion systems in commensal bacteria. Previously, such secretion systems have only been described for pathogenic bacteria. Opportunistic bacteria also use analogous secretion systems to deliver effector molecules that subsequently mediate their evasion of immune surveillance mechanisms in the body. This typifies the interaction between microbes and immune cells at the cellular level in immune compromised individuals where immune cells are rendered incapable of protecting the body.